might have seen Fox 16 go there. Uh, yeah, back yeah. in the day, I think Yo One, who is now Hot he used to go there too. Uh, yeah, just, honestly, it's a super cool like crew. They all grind together. Mm -hmm. Good to see Ike out here. L honestly, from what I've heard, he's gonna be going all Ike today. You know, living up to his namesake. I know he's been messing with a couple of other characters here and there. Yeah. But um, from what I was told, he's gonna be going back to the Ike today. Uh, show off what he's got. Mm -hmm. I mean, you gotta stay on brand, right? Exactly. I mean, if you're gonna be rocking the name Ike Tyson. What that says Ike. I do. I love that with the like Nike swoosh there. Yeah. You know. It was so perfectly timed from Smith too, like the way how he came out with that, like the whole uh, other logos and Smash characters involved. I thought that was really, really nice too. Yeah. Shout out to Smith Space. If you guys want to get, I think the ad should be showing up there if you're in Twitch chat. Uh, you guys get 10% off for Smith Space stuff here uh, via a code. I don't remember what the code was, but it'll be on there for a while. Probably do something like two GB. I think it's like two GB for something like that. Yeah. I'm sure that it's someone can get to you. Yeah, they look really spiffy clothing, and honestly, for a great price. Chris Bates, obviously, got to come here. Dude, I, every tournament they come to, like, I feel for my wallet because I know they're going to be there. I'm like, I got to spend some time at the booth. Like, even yeah. if they don't got new stuff, they got some old stuff. I'm like, damn, I didn't get it yeah, last time, but maybe next time. The best thing, the funny thing that Spiff always does is he brings back old stuff just randomly. Like, yeah. he won't even say, like, oh, I just want to have more of this. Cool, I'm going to sell it there. He was actually, I think he's actually here in SoCal for a designer con. Yeah, he, he yeah. tweeted about that. Yeah, he's for designer con, so... Yeah, definitely check out Space If you guys are coming to Congo Saga, he will be here in attendance. I know if you guys are interested in getting that sweet, sweet t-shirt that we do have on the store, still available while you still have a chance, check it out at the smash.gg Congo Saga shop. Uh, so I feel like they are choosing the bands here. Uh, I did mention earlier Swarf, Swarfy, he actually he mentioned to me he is from Norway. Yeah. So he's been here in the state. Of course, I already introduced you guys my text. They are going to go on Gentleman's PS2. It is going to be Ike versus uh, Character Unknown, man, at this point. <laughs> yeah, I'm not aware of who he's going to play, but I'm really excited to see it. See, it's my fault, too, because you seated him, and now you're like, I heard an accent, and he's like, probably not from here, now I need to feel like I know his name, and I don't even know who he is. Yeah. He could be, like, ranked, like, 7 in DR in Norway, and I just don't even know. Oh, is that King Tay? Oh, no, no okay, no, no, it was no, just hovering. I, I was a little excited for a second. You know, we all know what happened to Ben Gold when he came here, and he put the camera. I shut oh, up, God. Yeah. The duo, sorry. We, we actually don't even see too many weapons here unless it is I mean, actually going to be uh, Vinny, Vinny, yeah. Yeah, Vintendo. Uh, our notable oh, PR back on here, but he's not in attendance today. Instead, we have Squawky against Ike Tyson in round one here of MSN. Yeah, and if you guys are wondering about Nintendo, he's actually very dominant in a lot of the high school tournaments, too. So, uh, of course, having a really great... He's like, um, yeah, he, he needs other, <laughs> other people in his team. Alright, down throw intent up here, looking for a space with the photo, but he's not gonna try to swing a lot of hitboxes out. The mayor finally gonna connect, but he's not able to combo it into the F-tilt. DD, oh, it's alright, Sparky now, with yeah. the ledge traps. It was really good too, because he does force Ike Tyson have to go for that high recovery, and you can see right here, he plays Ike Tyson with the platform, and Sparky is immediately right there to cover that. He's not gonna give him the opportunity to come back to the screen. That's what you should do against Ike, right? It's kind of force out his recovery options, he does kind of struggle. Yeah, exactly. Especially, you know, at some point, he's going to have to side beat. If you just jump out there and take the hit way, mm -hmm. like, way out there, he's just gone. Yeah, yeah he is. I also got to watch it for sense, too. But, like, most definitely, like, you just take the hit, and like, it's not going anywhere. Alright, so right now, Sparky able to get the photo throw into the can, gets a DI trap on there, but he's not going to be able to kill Ike just yet. I like it. He kind of crosses him up, doesn't go for a back air or anything. He prefers to take the safety control, and then find another day to play. Ooh, I like that right there. Uses the back air of force out and then immediately presses B, so it comes right back in. Pass stays in place and messes with Ike, trying to maybe avoid it on the recovery. Mm -hmm. Right up there, Vinatrap is landing, and that's going to be the first stock to score. I like the fact that he tried to avoid the ledge to force, you know, one of the five options you might have to worry about. But unfortunately, that costs oh. way too much, and oh my god. <laughs> Alright, gets the two frame with the eruption, combos it into the can for good measure, and that's gonna be the first off in favor of Ike Tyson. This is a rather even game. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever seen it happen at Duck I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Yeah, that was kinda crazy. Alright, now Ike able to take a bare percent lead, only 20%, but yeah. these hits are growing and keep racking up so much damage if Ike is able to play it well. Great parry into an F -tail. I like that too because he knows he's got a bit of a range with this joint grind, he's gonna see option. Especially if you're trying to strike like your opponent's double to the jack. Yeah, Ike right now just demonstrating how scary he can be with momentum. I think it's one of those characters where he does so much damage on a hit, 
on such a big hitbox is that once you get hit by one, you start feeling the pressure a little bit. You maybe land unsafely and he's able to beat it out with his large disco and add more damage. But speaking of large disco, it's not even the downer able to beat out the up air from Duck Hunt. Yeah, and you mentioned it too, right? When you have advantage, he doesn't definitely have, it's pretty scary to be at a disadvantage against high cards. Well, being in high cards, he's going to stand here. Sometimes that does actually have a full third option to come back on the game. One of the things we kind of got him going for is for empty hop and back air. But the problem is here with Duck Hunt having Can as a tool to come back on the stage being frame two, I think, or frame one. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's very, very fast. So I think he has to be careful when he edge guards. He kind of has to duck hunt uh, uh, edge guard duck a little bit differently. That was almost a confirm from the Can, too. A I think it's not a cross the stage. Yeah, I don't think uh, Splarfy wanted to get the, that hit of the can to send Ike back in. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for him, he missed time the can maybe a little bit, but he still has the damage on, keeps the pressure on to Ike, forcing a roll into center stage, but now Ike's stuck in the shield, has to respect the can. Yep. One more of those, that's gotta be his stock. Yeah, Ike being pretty, pretty, uh, I was gonna say, man, he just lost his stock there. I was gonna say, he's a pretty heavyweight, too, so he's able to survive a little bit longer, but being one of these three, that was not a good one. I actually like that the mirror into the up tilt and then he stands there, waits for the double jump from Sparky yeah. instead of trying to commit to following it up. Goes for an up here, doesn't find it, but it was a good idea. Exactly, too, because a lot of points into it definitely panic from that option, right? And if you read your opponent's panic option rather than to control the combo, you're pretty much getting extra lead at this point. Yeah, and even then just displaying his knowledge of the game, he says, I don't have an actual true follow up to an up tilt, but, but if people giving, are going to be scared yeah. and then I can just punish that instead. If you give me the opportunity, I will. <laughs> 132, Ike Tyson had a pretty high deficit against Sparky. That was really good to come in with an air. No confirm afterwards, though. Looks for rising back there, but he's not going to find it. Has to respect the can. And now he's just going to sit and shield on the other side of the stage. Sparky Jr. has to start calling out these jumps. Yeah, he is. And he did it a little bit earlier, too, but it's kind of changed up now. Ike Tyson has the stage. He's got to watch out for the can. Like, it backs off from the ledge. He looks for an opportunity to look for that uh, kind of turn around for the can. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah. It. yeah. I I'm sorry, I felt the can kind of pop him out there to extend her box and the box as well. So that was still really the first part of the game that in there. Uh, I felt that I, he, he caught him jumping pretty much. Yeah, and that was a really scary spot because if Ike did nothing, the can would have fallen on him. Yeah. If he just air dodged through it, Sparky didn't have to jump. He could have forward smashed on the ground and he would have landed right into it with an air dodge. Yeah. So it was really just a big game of rock, paper, scissors, and Sparky happened to guess right. And it's kind of one of those moments where I do wonder myself, is counter something to be played at that position, right? Is it worth going? Because you have to really factor that in, right? If it is that rock, paper, scissors option, when you mix something like counter, where you have the opportunity to punish your opponent and not worry about the can at the same time, that would have definitely been a play. But like, I, like, it's really hard to evaluate, like, you know, okay, I just, do I go for counter? Is, is counter even viable at this opportunity, right? Yeah. Because it's one of the last things in your mind. I usually try to tell people, incorporate counter as your last resort option. Yeah. And to most definitely stop, you know, recoveries that are pretty exclusive. I like how he kind of tries to space the neutral air because I'm trying to up the with the spot dodge, trying to read the object as well. I like the down push the fairy, he's gaining more damage, but this platform combo from Sparky is going to be a lot of damage, keeping it even and just not letting Ike Tyson land. As I say that, he gets an aggressive neutral air turn in, combos it, and then still keeps the damage off. Yeah. That's really good. Nice. He does actually hit below the stage there, and unfortunately, with Duncan being able to go up there, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the duck. Is intangible or unintangible anymore? I can't remember. But none, nonetheless, though, that was really good for uh, I guess and understand. Doc and Doc has that one recovery option where he has to commit to going low, right? It's very rare we do see that high. Yeah, well, I mean, Doc can kind of air dodge out of his upbeat now, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Uh, so maybe that's going to be something we see come out when it comes to try and at least fix up the timing. Mm -hmm. It's going to be just as vulnerable to an eruption, but it's at least going to be a different timing. Maybe I Tyson won't be ready for giving one or two people recovery. Yeah. I think also a pretty solid lead here. I think they were Sparky. Game one went to Sparky, so I was definitely not too far behind. If it wasn't for that jump rate, oh, and the, the tech will just barely getting behind Sparky. It was such a good idea, but he just barely misplaces it. Near into an up air, and he actually crosses up the DI with his face. I like that jump at the last second of what you can do. He looks like he got the hit out of the hit, so I'm gonna go for the quick draw. So I'll snap the ledge there at the right moment. Nice, I, wow, no edge guard from Sparky. He threw the can, he thought it was all said and done, but you kind of get right. The opportunity to come back on stage. Wow, oh, he low profile the forward tilt. Yeah, he just pancaked it from the F smash animation. I, I feel like if he angled the F tilt down, he would have got it, but yeah. not something on his mind at that moment. Exactly. 
Sometimes you find something not new every day. I mean, low profile of this game, and even then, it's so strong. Exactly. Even shield angling too, as well. A lot of people forget that you can actually angle your shield to not for working shield poke and some loops. Yeah, it's even easier than this game because uh, the whole double shield macro, or if you press shield and be in the game. Exactly. Tilt your shield and you want more. I say that because I can't do that. <laughs> but like you say, the double shield macro, right? You can actually yeah. hold, if you have two shields, but it's set up, you can actually hold both of them at the same time, which is a lot easier. Good parry and is able to avoid getting in that lane fast and done. Ooh, the landing up here. This again is so heavily in Ike Tyson's favor. Can Sparky bring this one back? Or will he resign himself to try and win number three at this point? I like the empty hop here. He doesn't go for an air, he goes for the forward yeah, There's the air yeah. You just mentioned like, it. Yeah, he tried to mix up his timing, says it's just as vulnerable, but maybe if you like go early, I can air dodge it. Ike Tyson was ready for that. He said, I died last time. There's no way you let me do it again. I'll wait for the air dodge this time. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. A solid three stock for Mike Tyson. 202%, but the resilience to keep on fighting on his first star. Now I'm really curious where the counterfeit from Sparky is going to go to. He's gonna run it right back to PS2. I know he won game number one there, but it was a close game, and he then got three stock on the next one. And like it's Please tell me I'm not wrong. Oh, wait, we have a character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. We have some off-screen shenanigans going on here. But let's go into it right here. We do have a character switch so All right, now I actually like this. Because I was saying, you know, I don't like they didn't mix up the state. But if he's going to change the matchup, maybe that's just enough to change it. The same way, kind of? Yeah. It's going to be a little bit different here for Ike Tyson to get down how snake works. But I mean, if you don't get sick down for during the time of data. That was, well, okay, so that was really well spaced at the platform because the way Ike spaced the up air, yeah. a way to avoid the grenade was really good because if you actually hit the grenade, it would have been Ike. Yeah. And that would have not been the play here, but I kind of knew, okay, I have to watch out if my whole sword does hit the grenades because it will explode on my face. Now, the thing we saw a lot from the duck hunt was that the can kind of cut off part of the stage entirely from Ike. So with two grenades, Snake is going to be able to do something similar, but for less time. So, yeah. you know, it's kind of the same idea where I'm going to throw one out and maybe put it on this platform, and now I have a second where you can't jump. And you give him a second to leave. Yeah. If you give him a second, I like the fact that he does take a second to actually set the C4 for a little bit of a mix-up. I go behind, he gets the mirror, and he's able to walk away. I mean, I forced to play this incredibly slowly. He knows if he gets his jump caught by an up tilt, that's going to be current score. That was so close. That, yeah. that, is, uh, that will actually will make the threshold where it's actually able to be an outside cycle. Yeah, but the thing is, that air dodge now, because of the way it works, the cycle will go through and hit Ike Tyson. Mm -hmm. And that may be what uh, can change the matchup. Oh, no. No, he doesn't have a support. Never mind. This is not a good stock for Swarthy. Dying incredibly early to an unfortunate air dodge and not having access to the support. And a Mia answer the run up and up to only one stock behind. Kind of, I like that. Even the neutral here. Not only that, TV stage stage. You don't want Snake to have stage control. PS2 is a very great stage for Snake here. So does, it works really well for Ike as well. And I definitely demonstrate if I give Snake the stage, he has a lot of advantage and a lot of platforms and space to work with. But I also get a lot of benefit from the stage. I, and I play this one so incredibly well, using the platform to his advantage, spacing around these grenades and not opening in, willing to stand still and let Sparky run it. Yeah, in that situation there, we saw him go for a cross and go aerial, so because he kind of already understood Sparky's now starting to understand his butcher air game, and he's been definitely parrying quite a few times. Right? There's already two parries there, so I kind of have to mix it up. And right now, I just playing so slow, standing there. <laughs> Goes for a double nail, he beats that, but he doesn't pull the trigger. Yeah, that double nail was so good too. It was a really good opportunity for him to understand when he went for the spot dodge. I okay. mentioned the counter being a different play, but unfortunately it was not off the stage. I think he was maybe mistiming the grenade explosion, but mm. you know what, you can't do anything about the timing on this one. Right. So it'll be a good play, but he mistimed it himself. And the dash tag, that'll do it. And not only that too, I feel like he also went for counter anticipating the actual score or the grenade because the way that Sparky is himself out too, it's better to go 